and welcome back to Big Bob's MTG. I'm Big Bob, and today we're going to play Shoot for the Stars. Now, I built this one to model it after the shoot scoot that I built for Standard. This is not Standard. This is um, a historic deck that I built to try to ramp up and destroy people as fast as possible. So we have three Arboreal Gracer, two Fae of Wishes, four Growth Spiral, two Dryad of Leasing Grove, three Roiling Growth, uh, four Shoot Swarm, three Risen Reef, two Nissa, two Ashaya, Soul of the Wild, uh, three Nissa Who Shakes the World, two Yarok, the Desecrated, two Ancient Green Warden, and four Back for More. Now, if you can't tell, this is kind of a, a resurrection deck, and you'll see that uh, using Back for More as the instant it is makes this deck so powerful. <laughs> <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, Risen Reef triggers off of uh, off of who is it? Ashaya and the Ancient Green Warden coming into play really helps as well as Yarek. If you have Ashaya in play, which then they count as forests, and the Ancient Green Warden in play, and you play down, and you have Yarek in play as well. And play a Risen Reef, it then triggers a bunch more times than you would think. It actually triggers one twice because of Ancient Green Warden, an extra time for Yar the Desecrated. So you'll see in one of the games when I brought back a uh, Shoot Swarm, Shoot Swarm triggered because it counts as a trigger and it counts as a land, which then created three extra Shoot Swarms when it entered the battlefield. Now it had to attack and kill itself, but it still created three shoot swarms that I was able to put into play, use to my advantage, spin up real quick, and destroy him with a victory. So, I hope you guys enjoy this. You'll also notice that I added Fae of Wishes as well as a sideboard in here. We have uh, one Barrier Breach, two Anointed Procession, two El Mythos of Aluna, one Eat to Extinction, one Extinction Event, uh, one Leyline of the Void, one Ruinous Ultimatum, Genesis Ultimatum, Eerie Ultimatum, uh, an Erebos' inter Intervention, Finale of Revelation, Eternity, and Devastation. Just to cover all the bases and make sure that we're winning as much as possible. <laughs> now, oh, <whoa. coughs> cough and die real quick. Um, you'll notice that I changed this deck halfway in between uh, the games, so just bear with me. Enjoy the games. Check the death list down below. Give it a shot for yourself. It's historic, so you can play it against anybody and everybody. Thank you very much. Now let's get to the games. Okay, we're going to give this one a shot. I don't know how well this is going to work or not, but give it a go. We'll see what we got. So, all the land of the world with nothing to play. This is better. Better. Alright. Rock and roll. All right. Shoot. And the goth triome. See what we can do. So far, so good. We'll see if he has a. Nope, no banishing light or anything, so that's fine. Play in an explore. Uh, let's see here. This guy. This guy. Together, we will prevail. And this guy. Harness the elements. There we go. Ending that turn. Oh. 
four mana, he might have a board wipe, which would be sad. Here comes Shatter the Sky. Or, uh, we're in Historic, so this could be uh, Wrath. <laughs> Hope of Dawn. Game over. <laughs> this game is already lost, buddy. Wow. Okay, shovels that back into his library. Sounds good. All right, um, here we go. Uh, tap that. Play that. Tap that. Play this. Uh, two, three. Oh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. I'm going to go with eight here. Eight it is. Swing it on in. Wrath of God comes down and lays that anger and fury. Okay. Bit of a bummer, but not that big of a deal. That. Uh, that's my only green mana, so uh, let's go ahead and tap this for two. Use one of it to go down. That one. Submit. Uro. Tight. There we go. Put this guy into play. Take this guy. Pop him into play. This guy. Delay Zendikar's convalescence. Sure, we'll take action. We will protect Sweet. <laughs> no Wrath of God, maybe? Maybe a Shadow of the Sky? Nope, Ixalan's binding. Taking away my Nessa. Go. Which is a shame, but not so bad. Okay. Um, well... This here. Two is four. Boop. Defends itself. He might pull this off, being that I didn't kill him this turn. Sweet. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's it. You have doomed my home. I'm sure, he is going to try to settle the wreckage. That. Uh, let's see what I need. Green for sure. <sighs> okay. Let's try growth spiral. Growth spiral. Nope, nothing. That is all. Uh, no attacks. Got his one creature down. Nice. Okay. That. Done. Uh, playing this down. Um... I can't play this up. <laughs> I am Zendikar's one true guardian. Taking that action, ping him for one.
playing a Risen Reef. Okay. Yes, please. Take that out. Landfall Nissa. Cool. Uh, yep. Go with that guy. Yarrick. Wonderful. Wonderful. Take that action. Landfall triggers twice. Great. A Shia coming down. Yes, please. Two more triggers. The royal. Another royal and another yark. Okay. Well, um, yeah. <laughs> Fire in the hole. Yep, I figured he would do that. Draw a card. Salon's binding once again. Help me, Ashaya. Bummer. It's left four mana open. I can only assume that it's for uh for uh settle the wreckage, but we're gonna kill him off here and see if we can get this going here. So he has to pay for it to block it. Or die. Or he could pay for it and settle the wreckage. Yep. Perfect. Put that in play. Dryad. Pull out another Uro. Three, four, five. Oops. Comes into play. Yes, please. Ending the turn. Gathering a uh, creature. Little tiny dude. Little supporling. Sapling. Okay. Leaving open five for six mana. Okay. One more creature. Let's see here. What can we do? I think we can go in and go... Uh, you, 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 and you. Yeah. Looks good to me. That's what I figured he'd do. Shia. Yes, please. Yara. And... 
shooty boy. Perfect. Oh. He's got plenty of lamps, and now he has anointed procession, which <laughs> I totally forgot to add into this deck. <laughs> Whoops. And he quits! Couldn't keep up with the shoot swarm. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna shoot for the stars a little bit more with this historic shoot swarm deck. It has been pretty fun for sure. Here we go. Alright. There we go. Attacking for zero just to make it painful. miss of Shattered Bows. Okay, shoot for the stars. Much like Woody, we're gonna shoot for the stars. <laughs> Okay. Zoyles Drosky. That's interesting. Interesting hand, but I think I'm going to keep it just because I have the mana base to go with it. We'll see what happens, though. Why not? Tap land. Ooh, excuse me. There we go. Blue, white, white. Um... I anticipate the Skyclave coming down. Um, let's see here. Like that. Like that. And attack. Ha <laughs> ha, one damage. Shut of the Sky or Wrath of God. Nope. Deliberate. Interesting. For a blue white deck, this is not being very controlly. Not like I anticipated them being. Alright. Shia. That's landfall and an elemental. So that's that and that. He's saying good game, and I hate it when they do that. Wrath of God. Well, now he can't use anything like uh, Banishing Light or anything because these guys all count as lands. He's going outside the game to pull something. Not sure what. 
enchanted player loses all abilities. Controls creatures lose all abilities and have power toughness of one. That costs eight, though. Okay, so we, we got a ways to go for that. Uh, and that's fine. Let's cast this first off. And then this. You do not protect this land. You are my enemy. Boom. And then this one. Take that action. Rogue. Back to play. Landfall triggers. And ten. Yes. So I think we're in a good shape here. And as long as Nissa remains, we win. <laughs> Yeah, that's how we do it. Okay, this is a historical deck that we're making for uh, Shoot Swarm. Uh, being that it is a force to be reckoned with, and I love casting lots of fast creatures, so... Here we go. We'll keep this. Uh, I think we're going to Fable Passage first, depending on what we draw. If we draw a basic land of some type or something else, uh, yeah, we're fine with this then. Boom. Great. There we go. Our visionary right in their shoot form. Mr. Zab. All right, four mana. What's he got? They have eliminate or something close. Nightmare Shepherd, okay. That's an interesting choice. No blocks. Don't need that. Okay. Let's go like this. Get ourselves a creature. Go like this. And let's see, blue with a black. Okay, then we're gonna go non land creature or non land card. Let's see here, four and three. Use three, so we can go uh, next turn, we can go ET Extinction on his guy. So I think he's going to anticipate that. So we'll see what he actually does. Mm. 
Meyer Triton. Well, I'm not sure what he thinks he's doing, but uh, there isn't going to be much he can do. Not with black and green. He could play Heroic Intervention, which would then make all his creatures indestructible and hexproof. Or he could try to play something to sacrifice it and take it out of play, so then it fizzles out and I get nothing. First our own games. All right. Now he's probably going to attack in with his Nightmare Shepherd. Which I can't block. Yep. That's what I thought. Four damage. Okay. Um, Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. So let's go like this. This then. Submit one. Now that's six. And now let's go like that. Goodbye, Nightmare Shepherd. Nom 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 nom. Ooh, library. Yeah. No attacks. Ooh, he's gonna put some counters on a guy. Oh man, whatever will I do? Ooh, he's a 4-4. Four, four. What a big boy. So today, you're going to notice that I got this video out on time, actually. Uh, which I try to get at around 6 o'clock because I'm actually going to be going to a wedding uh, later on today for Ryan and Tiffany Davidson. I think it's Davidson. Tiffany Davidson, Ryan Pritchard. Whatever it is. Congratulations, guys. I hope you guys live a long and happy life together. And uh, God bless you and your kids. So let's, uh, let's pull out a win for these guys. Okay. Pulls his uh, dirge bat. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go throw this into play. Boom. I'll throw this into play. That looks good. Throw this into play. Go get ourselves another forest, I think? Maybe? Forest? That sounds good. Lots more triggers. Lots more creatures. Yay. Uh, no attacks. So now that our Dirge Bat is coming down to destroy one of our guys, I anticipate him destroying the Green Warden. Which is fine with me because we are just going to back for more, have it swing back into play, destroy whatever he attaches the dirge bat to. Unless it's a Meyer trait, and I don't know if I'm going to do that, but. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a Meyer trait. That's fine. That's fine. Ooh, what's it going to destroy? Okay, buddy. <laughs> you got this. And then he quits. Ugh. That is victory at its finest. Okay, this one's called Shoot for the Stars. The whole premise is to ramp up really quick, get lots of shoot swarms out into play, and then swing in to kill them. Let's see if we can get this going, though. I think we'll be okay. He has a Sarkhan, so who knows what Sarkhan is gonna have, you know. Just the worst. Commune with dinos. Pulls himself a Raging Sawtooth.
Cool. Ah, here we are. Shit swarm! Coming in! Immune with dinos. One more time. Okay. Nothing. He plays Zilch. So we're going to play this. Kick off Shoot Swarm. Play this. Risen Reef. Take that action. Kicks off. That's another one. One damage to him. Boom. Alright. Until the end of next turn. Whoa. That was it, huh? <laughs> Watney's Raptor. Okay. This is going to proliferate, and that was it. Neat. One damage to his own creature, and he draws a card. Uh, let's see now. Let's go with... Shyam. Wonderful. Play down our Zagoth trial. And ending the turn. Here comes this raging raptor. Raging sawtooth. Ow! That really hurt. <laughs> uh, let's see here. This one. Uh, let's see. We'll do this. Why not? Green Warden. That will be good. And... Attacking in. Killing off that guy, that's good. Okay, Sunbird Phoenix. Cats a spell, reveal the top X cards of your library, exit the spells for the mana cost. You may cast that spell. X or less among the cards revealed without paying its mana cost with the rest at the bottom of your library in a random order. Alright, well, I don't really like that, but we'll deal with it. Boom. And play this guy. Ten damage to him. Hopefully he's going to attack or uh, something and kill off my Ancient Green Warden. Which I know sounds silly, but... Three mana. Ooh, there we go. Playing his little Dino Boy. Oh, he doesn't. Hmm. Interesting. So we're actually going to play this guy. Then we're going to play this guy. Yes, please. Okay. And that. Playing that guy and Oh boy. Next. Swing it for fifteen, has to block with something. Took 14 damage. Okay. Now 
another Sunbird's Invocation, which he now gets to cast something off the top of the deck. There's a comma. Oh no, he goes with the snapping spyback. Okay. Ending the turn. Mm. Back for more. Shoot for him coming into play. Now he is going to trigger and fight someone. I'm going to fight this guy. But he's also going to... Submit. That hits. That's that. Um, blue. There we go. And black. Boom. And this could take a while. Waiting around for the guy to die. Plenty of creatures. Only about 200 plus. We're at 250... 289. Okay, then. Just dumping creatures into play. <laughs> 160 now. Oh, God, that's mean. Down to 100. And there we go. Oh, I think I broke it. 300 times 336 triggers would equal 600 and 60, 72, 672 shoot swarm triggers. broke it. Tis broke. So, we'll just wait for the end of time. Waiting. Waiting. I'm actually surprised that it didn't actually tell me, hey, you need to take a different action, because that's typically what it does when I do this. Well, I guess the game was fun, I think. I don't know, because uh, it can't actually end right now.
Oh, man. Do, 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 do. I'm not sure what's going on, but I think we can force it. I think we're going to go kill. So I killed it. And now we're going to bring it back up. Uh, just to see what happens. I might have lost that match, but that is okay. Didn't really want to just hang out there and whatever. Cool. Going back to our game. Looks like it's uh, dumping my insect tokens into play. Yep, it is. So over 900. <laughs> a thousand. A thousand one hundred. <laughs> Well, great. Um, yeah. So we're going to attack with this guy and this guy. And not that guy. There we go. A thousand three hundred and forty-four creatures. So unless he has another raging sawtooth, he loses. That raging saw, saw or the sword tooth, that's what it was. The raging sword tooth uh, could deal one damage to all my creatures, and then I would be S O L. But I think his game is hung up. I restarted mine to get it to kind of force go, but yeah, I think he is down and out. That was one time out. So one of the things that I used back for more for was to get that shoot swarm into play. I knew that he would count as a land because of a Shia, and then the trigger would hit twice for Ancient Warden and once for Yarok. So that's three tokens. After that three tokens, I started playing the things that would get me more lands, and uh, after that, we were good to go. Alright, he's on his final timeout. If he doesn't block this or come around to block, it will be a victory for me because I'm going to ping him for, well, 21. So, here it comes. Timing me out. That's it. Next. Bam, bam. Did it. Win in the bag, and that's what we call a tough rock. <laughs> well, it did count as a victory, so here's to hoping. And that's all for today. Please like and subscribe and comment down below. Make sure to check out my Patreon to gain access to more exclusive content. I try and post new videos as often as I can and appreciate talking with you about what I'm doing. Don't be shy. Leave a comment here or on my Facebook page. Uh, let's make some fun and amazing decks together. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And have a great day. Mm -hmm.